Good evening, everybody. We are here with my, our friends from Central Jamaica Conference. We are having a benefit concert. Not sure what is going on. He's going to tell us. Good night. Who do we have here? My name is Kevin. One of the area coordinators for Central Jamaica Conference. Mm -hmm. uh, you say you don't know what is happening here. Mm. Here's the reality. IAD Campery 2023. We want as many of our pathfinders and our youths to be in attendance. So what the conference has decided is that we're putting on this benefit concert. That the money that is made from this concert will help to get our pathfinders, our youth at the Campery. The reality is that a lot of them cannot find the money to be there. And we wanted for them to get this experience because as you know, mm -hmm. this camper is a once in a five year opportunity. Mm -hmm. So this is why we are putting it on as a conference so we can subsidize the cost and we can get as many of our youths from all three parishes mm -hmm. in Central Jamaica Conference at the IID Campery. All right, thank you very much. And what are your expectations of the concert tonight? Do you expect a grand concert, good turnout, good performances? What can we expect? This is going to be one of the most exciting concerts that we put together in such a short time. It is going to be an amazing experience here. The, the artists are coming, they are ready to perform, they are ready to minister, they are ready to give a blessing. The persons who are here, you know, since COVID we haven't gotten a chance to really be out and out. Right. So this is one of the first major concerts mm -hmm. for Central Jamaica Conference for the young people. They are coming from all over the conference. Persons from Manchester, Clarendon, all over St. Catherine. Portland. Uh, and you are here from <laughs> Portland, so it, it testifies to what we expect. Yeah. And so far, we have been having a good showing, and we expect that at the end of the night, apart from some good gospel singing, persons will be blessed. Mm -hmm. And we believe that the ministers will lead somebody, uh, persons, into a closer saving relationship with Christ. All right, final question. Who are you looking forward to in performance? Uh, Your favorite ever... performer you're looking forward to? And, and it is a confession of all of them. Yes. They, they, uh, all the groups have their own special place in my heart. So I'm going to enjoy all the performances as soon as I can get in because okay. I'm still doing something. But, but I'm looking forward to Humble. All right. So we look forward to Humble. Thank you very much, sir. Hope you You're have welcome. a wonderful night. And enjoy. I'm glad you could join us from Portland. It's mm. only a pity you never carry over some of the folks with you. <laughs> next time. Next time. Definitely. Blessings. So we're here with another patron for the Benefit Concert. One of my good friends, Yarquin. We finally get your brother. Yarquin. No, we, say, we finally oh, get your brother. Yeah, man. So. How are you doing as a photographer, videographer? You're here to cover the event? Yes, I'm here to cover the event. What are your expectations of tonight? Excitement. Mm -hmm. People from Central Conference, my home conference, mm -hmm. EJC, they're not normal. All right, so let me ask you, you are from Old Harbor SDA, right? Actually, from Macook's SDA Church, that's my home mm -hmm. church. Mm -hmm. But Old Harbor is more of my brother's home church. Okay, okay, yeah, okay. So, so who are you looking forward to in terms of performance tonight? Tonight, I I'll probably say humble. Right. I, I would love to see humble outside. Of, you have a different vibe when it's outside of Sabbath hours. Okay. You know, at certain, you know, same gospel music, mm -hmm. but it's a different vibe. All right, nice. So thank you for your interview. Where can we see your photos and your work? Where can they go and see your work? Facebook, just mm -hmm. look for Ventist. That's Adventist without the AD. Are you do weddings and everything. All of that stuff. All right, so link him up, everybody. Thank you very much and blessings. All right? Respect. Yeah, man. Big up. I just see behind me the concert start now, full swing. We get warm. You can see what I want. Remember, we are at the Central Jamaica Conference. Benefit concert for the Pathfinders. They want to go to Camp Ari and I guess they're coming out in their full colors. We're going to take you with us. Hope you enjoy yourself. Warrior is Big Tune!
right, so we are here with a member from Acapella Commission all the way here in Spanish Town, yeah. Willardino. What are your expe expectations of tonight? Good music, good time and good vibes. All right, are you looking forward for anybody's performance specifically? Can I ask that? When Humble Touch Up is a done deal, she was <laughs> done. All right. So nobody special that song before you were looking forward for their performance? Yeah, the group, Agape, you know. I have some good friends in that group. All right, and we're interviewing them next? Next, right after this, so All stay right. tuned. All right, big so up. We're here with, the, with one of the performers tonight. Tell us your name. My name is Ashley Cummings. And what was the experience like ministering tonight? Um, it was good. It's always a good time when you minister for the Lord, you know. And the crowd was actually quite receptive. Boy, today has been a day designed from the devil himself. But God was here, God did his thing, he worked, and I'm just happy that it all worked out. All right, blessings and thank you. All right. So we're here at an international renowned Claude Edwards, well-known, um, well-established musician. Good night, sir. How are you doing? I am blessed and favored. How are you doing? We are doing great. What can we expect from you tonight at this beneficiary concert? Uh, well, I'm here to bring honor and glory to the Lord. I, I haven't performed here in Jamaica in a mighty long time. Um, today has been a rough day for me. I preached three sermons today. Three? Oh yeah, I did an early service this morning in New York. And then um, if you notice, I'm just coming. So I'm telling you, and I preached here since I came here. And I just finished a concert in Clarendon. So I'm here because I really want to support the Pathfinders and to support the Central Jamaica Conference of Seventh-day Adventists. And I also told them that through my uh, my my business ThaiWorld.org, this is okay. my yeah, this is my business. I okay. want to be able to offer some assistance through um, my my company okay. um, to you know this cause and to Christian education here in Jamaica. Nice, lovely. So where can we find this company? Before I forget, it is ThaiWorld.org. We're online okay. and uh, we ship to any part of the globe. All right. So uh, once someone goes on ThaiWorld.org, they will mm -hmm. see. Uh, because all the uh, collections there are mm -hmm. um, are named under my albums. All right, okay, cool. We are very happy to interview you tonight, but we have one final question. Yeah, what is that? Are you looking forward to any other other artist performance? And if so, who? I I'm looking forward to Carrie Sales. <laughs> all right, Carrie Sales. All right. Carrie Sales is my friend. Carrie Sales is my friend. He's awesome, and um, I am also looking forward to um, what's that male group again? Humble. Humble. Yes, yes, right. yes. I'm looking forward to Humble as well. All right. And uh, I know we have been, we have been, we have been um, a people who support each other, mm -hmm. and I, I love the artists here in Jamaica, mm -hmm. and um, it's a blessing to be back. All right. You seem very energetic and younger than I am, and you seem like you have it all hooked up nicely. And we're happy for that. So thank you very much for this wonderful interview. Yeah. Looking forward for your performance yeah. and God blessings in your ministry. I want to thank you so much and I want to wish for you guys God's blessings in 2023. Thank you. I know the, the Lord is opening great avenues for us and I, mm -hmm. I, I pray by His grace that you know, the folks will be blessed and uh, they, to be a success tonight. All right, so stay tuned. We're going to show you clips of His performances to come. Blessings. Lord, I lift your name on the high. I'm so glad you're in my life I'm so glad you came to save You came, you came from heaven to earth To show the way from the earth to the cross My death to pray from the cross to the grave from the grave to the sky, Lord, I'm lifting your name on. Come on, put those hands together if you're happy to be in the place. The presence of God is here, can I tell you? Lord, I'm lifting your name on the high. Lord, I'm lifting your name on high. Lord, I want to sing me a praise. Shout with me tonight.
right, so we are here with another performer, Giovanni. Hey, I know you have seen him before, the group Events, and he also sings in a group with two beautiful ladies. Um, perform tonight, but let's hear from Gio. How are you doing, sir? Yes, I'm doing well. You know, they gave us some soup, so my soul is at rest. All right. Oh Lord, I feel so blessed. <laughs> All right, your feedback on the performance tonight? My oil, what do you mean? Yeah, I'm, but you just did a while ago. It was the beautiful. Light system, yeah. I want you to know that, you know, God has a way of working things out, you mm -hmm. know. Ashley was really the feature of the night. Yeah. And I was there to back her up as one of her good friends. You uh, were there to do what? To, to sing background vocals. Okay. All right. That's, all right. So sing background vocals. To sing background vocals. So we heard anything from Evans tonight? How has Evans been doing? If you want to hear from Evans tonight, you can go on YouTube. Mm -hmm. Type E V I N. C E. All right, so we we'll find events there. Yeah, man, we won't be singing here tonight, but you'll be hearing from us very soon. Any any projects that you guys have been working on that definitely, we need? Definitely, definitely, we have a project coming. No hint. Do, no, but anytime, let me tell you, God works in mischievous ways. So as you blink, you might just hear something from Evans coming out. You know, All right. pretty pretty soon. This year, something. That's the hint. This All right. <laughs> All right, big up yourself, G, and yeah. thank you for the time. Big up on yourself. I'm blessings. Yeah, man, and every follow time. Follow and subscribe, share. Unscripted TV. Unscripted. Blessings. Nah, man. <laughs>
Jamaica Union Conference. We are here at the Grand Concert. Um, it proceeds in aid of Camp Paris 2023. And we have the, the, the youth director for the union. Sir, what are your views of the concert and what are your expectations of Camp Paris 2023? I fully endorse this concert. In fact, as we strategize as youth ministers, directors, and Pastor Scott shared the idea, I encouraged him and I'm here. My presence is that testimony that I stand in support of it with a view that this concert will yield funds to help many pathfinders from Central Jamaica Conference get this unforgettable experience at the 5th Inter-American Division Pathfinder Campery. Now we are blessed to be the host of this Pathfinder Campery where many pathfinders will be inspired to be active participants in their church. Many will be inspired maybe to become leaders of the church by virtue of being pastors. Who knows? Maybe one pathfinder at this campery will be the next president of Central Jamaica Conference. Maybe the Jamaica Union Conference. So this experience will expose our young people to the church in a different space, a multicultural, multilingual space, so that they will know that, yes, the Seventh-day Adventist Church is an exciting experience. And I believe, too, that it will be inspirational to the extent that they look forward to connecting with people, not just from the division, but around the world, even as we unite in the kingdom of God. My final question to you, sir. Two in one, two in one. Who are you looking forward to perform tonight? Well, I have enjoyed 
the performances so far, but I'm really looking forward to the final act, I believe, Kiri Seals. All right, and will you be singing tonight? I have already been singing along with the participants. All right, thank you very much, sir. And blessings and all the best. Big up. All right. Yes. We're here with Mr. Robert Miller, the MP for Southeastern Catherine here in Jamaica, and he's fully endorsing this concert tonight. What are your expectations of this concert, sir? Yes, it's a very great initiative. As you know, I'm part of Central Jamaica Conference and Ella Spanish on SA Church in charge of youth and an era coordinator for Central Jamaica Conference. So we're expecting a lot of resources because we want as many campers as possible to be present at the campery this year, April 4 to 8 at Trelawney Multipurpose Complex. We are doing a lot of initiatives because we want to ensure that every camper, every pathfinder experience the international campery this year. That's right. And, and I'm sure that with, with, with a lot of cap that you wear, era coordinator, elder MP, and, and I'm sure that you have brought a lot of resources are open the opportunity for resources for individuals to attend Campari 2023. Well, I myself love Camperies, right? I've been to a lot of international Camperies. I was in DR, I was in South Africa for the World Church Camper. I was in Bahamas, I was in Cayman, many Camperies. And I know the experience of linking up with other pathfinders worldwide and creating friendship and a spiritual experience. And I'd want many pathfinders, many campers to experience those activities. So in my little corner, as a part of our mandate, when we're getting baptized, that we should use our influence to benefit the church. So in my little corner, I'll try my endeavor best to ensure that I do my part to ensure that a pathfinder. Because back in my days, people used to assist me in going to Camp Paris. So I try my endeavor best to ensure that I give someone that opportunity to experience this campery. I have two two questions in one, two in one. Who are you looking forward to to perform tonight? Thank you very much. I couldn't do this. Well, everyone, Umbly is a very good group, as you know. But I'm biased to Kerry Sales. Okay. Kerry Sales is my brother. Kerry Sales is my batchmate yes. at college. As a matter of fact, Kerry Sales, when I used to sing on the Inspire Choir, yeah, Kerry Sales did not make it at the audition. <laughs> and it's so ironic, as a matter of fact, I knew that Kerry could have sang the last weekend, graduation weekend, when he sang the alma mater. Okay. So, you know, he's a very good singer. He's my brother and also is, a, is one of my constituents. Okay. So I'm biased to carry sales. All right, and next question. So since you sing for Inspi, will you be doing anything tonight in terms of performance? I've somewhat retired from the singing, <laughs> you know, I'm somewhat retired, you know, I used, to, I used to sing a lot, but not anymore, you know, not going to a whole lot of voice training, not going to a whole lot of training, so, you know, not tonight, I, I, I'll give a next night. So I'm assuming it's bass. Bass and baritone. All right, so thank you very much, sir, and I commend you on the work that you're doing in your constituency. See you on the news very often, and as a young person, young per well, we're from Portland, we're in Anne-Marie Vaz constituency. I don't know if you know her yes very well she's very doing a little well. bit better than you are but yeah. <laughs> well that is good that is good that is good but i don't know your bias to her <laughs> and she's prettier yeah. huh? yes that's true that's true that's true so, so, thanks. so we're asking everybody just to support if you can sponsor even one camper yeah. we ask that you sponsor one camper to the campery yes. it's a rich experience spiritual and experience yeah. so at least sponsor oh, one yeah, camper thank right. you very much thank you very much sir and blessings all right yes we're going to beg like a minute or two here we're going to do a little sound check and we're going to do it like this oh
Tell me the story of Jesus. So we're here with the group that just performed on the stage, mash up the place, tear it down flat, flat, flat. They are called Humble. And right beside me, um, just to let the group know that this is my favorite group member. Not because he's ugly still, you know, but because I love percussion and them and stuff there. So we're going to start with everybody. Uh, what's your feedback on the performance just now? No, firstly, your feedback on the concert. What do you think about this concert? Um, trust me, um, especially the purpose for this concert is, is, is really good. Uh, I love the idea and I hope that it's, it will be successful this evening. Um, this, the concert so far, the singers, the lineup, it was extraordinary. Um, I enjoyed every bit of it. Um, although I wasn't there, uh, you know, right through, but of course, I was here. Yeah, backstage. Um, yeah, man, I enjoyed it. Our performance, um, I burn. I, I know I burn a lot of calories. I know my phone going to give me a pop up next, um, later on for say, I'm break some record. I Chevy, Chevy phone, same break record. So I know that mine may break record too as it relates to probably this is the most exercise that I've done since. Um, the year there. began, um, so you know, right. yeah, man, it was it was really lovely. I, I I always enjoy singing with my guys, so um, you know, once I'm singing with them, I'm except Daniel, but you know. <laughs> and, and you are brothers, right? Yeah. All right. So my next question, I, I I'm not sure if it's humanly possible. Tell us tell us now if it's natural or if it was if it was Hernandez. It, is it your real voice? If it is, you can tell us the truth afterwards. <laughs> but tell us, how you develop that voice? How long have you been doing it? And are there any challenges with that voice? First of all, it's not enhanced. All right. All right. Natural. But, but yes, natural, fully natural. <laughs> all natural. I don't know how I do it. But I was just singing one day, right? Yeah. A building, a nice hollow building. And I said, Father, have a nice little bass, you know, but I want to touch a little note that can you know, sweet up the roundness of the bass. <laughs> and we just start instinctively art, led by the spirit. Mm -hmm. I just start try some stuff. First, first I sound like some ghost still. <laughs> but after a while, I kind of round it up and realize that this can work. So the first time I tried it on the system, I said, no, sir. 
This thing serious. Yeah. After that, no turning back, bird. <laughs> yeah, man, blessing from God, definitely. Because it's to tell you the truth, I have a tenor voice. Yeah, really. and, and I really can't sing low. That that's that kind of mash up your brain, right? I can't really sing low. But the technique just give something different. Like it just expands something here that I don't know over the years. It just mind blowing. But I thank God for it. Thank you. Yeah, and, and, <laughs> and to the next member, he wasn't at our music day, you know. But we forgive him. But we, the group is humble. So I'm going to ask him the hardest question. How important is humility? And how has humility enhanced the group? What should I say? Ministry in the past. And how do you think it will enhance it in the future? I read first, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so um, I wouldn't have been long enough to speak for the earlier part of the, or the earlier um, part of the group. But as it relates to humility, um, it's personally, I think the group has done a very good job in trying to maintain that in a sense where um, we minister to a lot of people. So when we're able to not show self as much as possible and try to, you know, just humble yourself in the presence of the Lord and know that this is what, you're, what we're called for, then it really helps us <clears throat> even more than well, probably some people would look past the singing really and just see a group of young men that are you know ministering for the Lord and you know trying to do us right and humility would definitely enhance that for us and in the future I guess we you know being able to portray that <clears throat> would allow younger persons you know um, to be able to know to, to realize that you know the church you know, it's, it, 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 it can be fun, and it can be, it can be a place of um, refuge, a place of, um, what do you call it, no, salty right, you know, so that's my, All right. that's my that's Thank you very much, thank you very much. I was going to go to my, my very good friend, I know him the most in the group. He's the one who inspired me to get in trouble. And, uh, <laughs> but. I, I think we teach the same subject, and I want him to tell you about his book, that's a detour about, uh, from, from Humble. I have been trying to get his book uh, purchased from my school for the past year. I don't know what is happening, Sobe, but tell us, um, teaching, because we know we talk a lot, and singing, they don't go together. How have you managed to manage the two of them? First things first, I don't shout. That's number one, I don't shout. So my students know when Mr. Martin stop talking, it means that you are making too much noise and I'm not gonna shout at you. So once I set that, I don't, I don't have to shout. What kills me though is when my day is hectic and all the classes I have, I have to teach something new. So I find that I have to talk a lot. That happened to me yesterday. I taught for from eight to two with only a one hour break. And all the classes I had to do excessive talking. So by 10, 15 minutes past two, here's so basically gone. So when that happens, I just increase the water drinking, get some honey, get a little lime, just to soothe it so that it doesn't get too bad. And, and I'll go to the newest member of the group, right? Yes. Newest member. So introduce yourself because I would have known everybody's name. Tell us a name and what has been the experience like singing with the group so far. Yeah, the humble. No man, humble. Humble. All right. Um. So my name is Daniel Davis. Um. The experience has been good. I mean, I basically known these guys for years, years. Cause I had a group from back then. Actually, we started at this school, a couple of boys. Um. Then after a while, everybody migrated and all over the place. Then. We always from the first time we meet in the studio, we come like say we know each other from years ago. So I mean, it isn't nothing strange. It isn't anything. It just come natural. You know, so it's just a natural feeling. Great feeling. Great to be back ministering because after a while I wasn't singing as much. Um, so it gets me back, gets me focused in a sense. And it's just a good vibe, a good feeling. Alright, so I'm assuming that you are the leader for the group. Because he plays a lot of leadership role on the stage. Right? So we're going to ask you to give our viewers more information on the album 
that will be coming out soon where they can get it when it when it drop and also i want you to share with us send the adventists pathfinders and growing up in the church and camper remember we're in dominican republic together how has that impacted your life as a leader and the importance of campari and the concert that it's put it on for? So first thing, the album, and then you tell us about the church and leadership. All right, I hope I can remember all of that, right? So um, first thing, the, the, the album. The album will be available on all, all, so all media platforms, all online platforms, um, Spotify, Apple Music, um, which other one? Deezer, YouTube, D Music, CD Baby, all, all online platforms you'll be able to, just like the EP that we did in 2016, you'll be able to get the album on all online platforms. The album release date is going to be announced very shortly. Um, we're just about wrapping up um, the production of the album, um, but we're very excited. The album is very exciting. There's a nice twist to the album, so it, it's a lot of things that will be revealed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. As, as the guy says, a musician's album. So there's something for everybody. There's something for everybody. The next song with the the next question. Um, I, so I grew up in in Pathfinder. I um, ever since I grew up in the church and I grew up in Pathfinder. So it's very dear and near to my heart. And I can say that Pathfinder definitely has played a very important and a very impactful um, part in my leadership development, both um, within the group, both at work, within the group at work, everywhere. Um, it has really impacted my life positively. So it's a, it is a joy to give back um, to the Pathfinder Club, um, to the Adventist Fraternity, Pathfinder Fraternity. We're looking forward to Campari in April, um, International Campari. So, you know, it's, it's a joy to my heart that we can give back as a group to this cause. Thank you, thank you very much to the group Humble and I am openly telling them I'm inviting them to Portland soon, later on this year. I hope they not charge a whole heap of money. <laughs> but I owe you guys, I hope all of you in here eat yam and breadfruit and them things there. Because Subi get all of that the last time. But I don't know if you don't get any. You can get everything the last time. You get chop. <laughs> <laughs> so big up, I, I, I for one is one of your biggest fans, I follow the ministry, I love the ministry and I, and I can attest that even though they dress nicely, you know, see that them plaid pants, them, you know they get them, you know, more and one, and them smell good, and a couscous them when I use. <laughs> Someone tell us that they're really humble for two. They're really humble for two. These guys are approachable. They are Christian minded. And I'm sure what, all of you are married? Almost. Every, almost. almost. Except one. So I don't know if you want a Portland wife still. That will encourage the group to come over more often. <laughs> but big up yourself and thank you very much for the interview. All right? The manager for Humble, he's here in live and living colors. Sir, is it easy to manage these young men? Well, to be honest, I, I feel honored okay. to manage um, these young men. One, um, in this time that we're living in, young people on a whole tend to be leading to the things of the world. And I'm happy to know that I have six young men that is standing up for the Lord. Yeah. And um, I'm big on, on that. Yeah. You know, so at times, you know, they'll give their little hiccups and thing, but at the end of the day, the purpose why, why, why they minister is enough for me to stand tall and say, yes, I'm proud to be a part of this group. So your yeah, man, right. anytime. And my next question to you, I know that you're a singer also. When will your group be blessing us up in Portland? Well, you have never invited us. All right. So, okay. All send right. the invitation on and definitely we'll make it happen. And I'm assuring you the next music day that my church is putting on, that's Bowenbrook. Hosanna, praise, ministries, praise, yeah. praise will be a part of it because you have a Portlander in the group too. You have a Portlander in the group, so that's your whole figure out who it is. 
Portland. Yes, Bellevue. You know yourself. There's a Portland in the group. Figure it out. You will figure it out. So we invite you next time. And I hope you don't want to add us enough to. No man, we, we love ministry, so at any time when we get the dates yeah. and as best as possible. We just want to make sure that not touching. Yes. Right. And Thank you very much, sir. Thanks for having us. Big up, yes. Did he say well done? Has the dear panted for? water so my soul longing to you Lord you alone are my heart's desire and I long to work that one more time everybody everybody please have the same has the dear panted for the water so my soul donated to you one of the main acts for tonight Kerry Seals Mash the place left it flatter ground, mash up. I don't know if you have money for pay back for the, the place you mash up. But how was it for you, the performance, the entire performance? Was it a challenge? Was it seamless? What was, what was the experience for like? It was seamless for me. It was seamless for me. I didn't have no problem. I enjoyed it. Mm -hmm. As you can see, you know, I'm vice half almost gone, but I'm still here. <laughs> All right. Yeah, so, man. Earlier, we interviewed Robert Miller, Big Rob. Yeah, man, that's my brother. He said in college he was the better singer. Can you confirm that? <laughs> I don't want to deny it. <laughs> because he said when he auditioned for Inspi, he made it, but you didn't. Well, that is true. So maybe at a point. <laughs> All right. So, so, but ministry on a whole, though, Mr. Sales, how has ministry been in Jamaica? No, you're international, but in Jamaica, how has ministry been? Has it been on an upscale or a downscale, even? since recent, modern times like what we're living now? Well, for me, it's been an upscale, so I, I can't complain. Mm -hmm. So, generally, I think it's an upscale. You have, you have more variety in the market. You have a lot more, you know, artists and singers in the market. Mm -hmm. So, I think it's going well. Mm -hmm. And it can be better if the church support more, but you know, we give thanks. And the final question. Do you have any advice for any upcoming singer who wants to be big like you and is trying hard to reach there? What word do you have for them? Don't give up. <laughs> if you believe that God called you for this, stick to it. God will open the room. God will make the way. Say that for worry yourself. Just be diligent. Work hard at your craft. Study the word. Say so don't lose faith in God because the key is God first and the music second. So that is my word. All right, thank you very much. Yep. All right, good night again, everybody. We are here, the wrapping up phase of the concert. We are here, the concert is for Campari 2023. And we're here with the youth director for Central Jamaica Conference. Now, sir, tell us this concert. Why is it necessary? Do you think it is important? And what are your feedback of it so far? Well, Central Jamaica Conference, we're excited to ensure that all our young people that have registered for Camp Reef, that we could start them off on the journey. And those who have already paid um, to contribute to probably their transportation expense so that it can be a little bit less for them um, going to Camp Reef. So it was absolutely imperative for us to have this benefit concert. We're so happy that our conference administration uh, provided the support so that we could have an excellent session for this evening. My final question to you will you be doing the final item sorry go again i can't hear we, the music we, is very low <laughs> <laughs> but, but do you sing though do you sing though which which performance was your best i think all of the music minister did an exceptional job yeah. but i think gamel grant when he came on persons really kind of connected with him mm -hmm. all the music minister did an exceptional job everyone hit a particular chord um, but you know for me especially i really love um, the vibe that gamel grant brought and so we are really happy for his contribution and for the contribution of all seven of our artists today. All right, thank you very much, Mr. Director. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Bless so we're here with Pastor Langley, the secretary, the executive secretary for the conference. 
Central Jamaica Conference, the second best conference in Jamaica, because we know Northeast is the best. So, Pastor, you have an army of youth in Central Conference. How is it, how is it working with the youth department from the secretary perspective? Is it easy or hard working with the youth department of the conference? Well, having served the, the youth department of this conference, the best conference in uh, <laughs> Jamaica Union Conference, because Central is essential, it is always a challenge working with our young people. But the young people that we have in Central are committed to the cause of Christ, and uh, that is why we're here this evening, because of their commitment. We also are committed to them, uh, to their betterment, to them experiencing this. This is a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity. And because of who our young people are, we decided to do this benefit concert so that over 2,000 of our young persons can get to Camp Hori 2023. All right, so my final question to you, sir, is who was your best performer tonight? Well, all the performers were, were excellent. I, I, I love a cappella, and so I loved, I loved Humble. I love Humble, and I, I particularly love the new song that they have in mind uh, coming out the new album. But I do believe that all the music ministers mm -hmm. this evening mm -hmm. were exceptional in giving their praise and adoration. Thank you very much, sir. I know that normally secretaries of conferences are big and seen. I don't bother with the youth sometimes. But you are here and you are supporting. I saw the president earlier. And I appreciate that. So big up and thank you very much. Thank you very much. And we are a youth-oriented conference. That's good. That is why we're here. All right. Thank you, sir. God bless you. So we're here with the effervescent Joan Williams. And she was the MC for tonight's concert. Did you enjoy the concert? Was it a challenge for you to MC? Oh, no. It wasn't that a, a fabulous concert. I enjoyed it. Um, all of it was my best part tonight. You're not gonna make them. You're not gonna make them sing me and bonfire for me. All of it was my best part. But I really, really, really like mm -hmm. Gamel Grant, humble. I like Claude Edwards much. Okay. It's the first time that I, that I saw him perform tonight, and so I liked him. I liked Gamel, and I liked. Humble and carry. Okay. Yeah. So, so, so on a serious level, now I realize that this concert was made for, for perp, for the main cause of sending the pathfinders, pathfinders yes, to, to Campari 2023. Yes. Do you think that is important and why? I think it is. Mm -hmm. Pathfinders. Mm -hmm. I'm, 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 I'm very adult. <laughs> <laughs> and I remember being a child and I was a part of the Pathfinder movement. And yeah. trust me, I tell you. I have right now, I can say to you simply, keep a level eye. And I always remember that. I mm -hmm. always remember I was taught to shake hands, have yeah. a firm grip, and keep mm -hmm. a level eye while doing that. I've mm -hmm. never forgotten that. Okay. And I had, my, I had my children as best as I possibly could mm -hmm. be a part of Pathfinders. It is mm -hmm. important because just like how the Bible tells you to mm -hmm. train up a child, that's yeah. a part of training up the child. And right. it never leaves. It right. never leaves. And these good moral standards that are mm -hmm. basically placed and, and taught, placed in us and taught. Mm -hmm. And I can tell you that she's a very good parent, an excellent parent. She has done exceptionally well. And I know Pathfinder played a role in that, right? Yes, and I thank you. <laughs> All right. So big up yourself. Thank you for the interview. You did an exceptional job tonight. I thank you. I'm All humbled. Right. Blessings. Right. Big up. Bless All up. Right.